Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Zombie and I'm going to show you how to complete the advanced tutorial in one hour one life. Now the advanced tutorial does not give you any information about exactly what you need to do, um, but what you need to do is cut down this yew tree with a steel axe in order to escape the prison that you're in. Um, and it gives you everything that you need to do it, but <clears throat> for new players, uh, or for players who have only played once or twice and are not really sure about 100% of the things that you need to do, um, this tutorial may be difficult to complete. But I'm going to show you how to complete it in the most easy manner. Um, so first off, I brought a basket with um, one item of rare food. In this case, it's a cactus fruit that I picked up from the tutorial before. Um, a rope and the hatchet that I used at the uh, end of the easy tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at a bunch of different things that we need to get done. Um, so, like I said, what you need to do is cut down the yew tree. So the tutorial is really about starting your forge. Um, what items you need to use uh, to uh, create a kiln, um, and then uh, a, a fire, um, and light the kiln, smelt the iron, use a bellows, uh, create the steel, and, and so forth. Um, now it gives you uh, quite a bit of food here. Um, to get started, and I'm going to go ahead and fill up on gooseberries first. Um, but you may find yourself running back uh, to the earliest tutorial if it takes you a while. Um, so let's start with the most important thing. This this is probably the first thing you're going to want to do as an Eve or uh, the daughter or son of an Eve if you're in the main game <clears throat> and you're you find yourself in a brand new area with with nothing. You're going to want to create um, your your furnace uh, to get your your smelting started. So what you're going to need is three pieces of adobe. And adobe is made by combining a ball of clay with a reed bundle. Now, um, the first thing I would make uh, in the overworld is a basket so that I can carry more than one thing with it. Because as you're running around looking for the ideal start, you're going to want to put your adobe into the basket. Um, or whatever else you need, including, you know, sharp stones or uh, reeds that uh, you can, or sorry, um, milkweed that you can turn into rope. Um, but once you've got three adobe, if you hit the first one with a rock, it becomes a permanent placement called the oven base. You put a second piece on it, it becomes an oven, uh, which you can use to cook pies and such. The third piece then becomes the kiln, and this is the first thing that you need to do. Um, the second part you're going to want to do, though, is collect one more adobe to seal the kiln when it's firing to create um, your charcoal, which you need to actually smelt. And most players will hide this piece of adobe right behind the kiln so that people know that these two things need to belong together. Um, <clears throat> so, now that I've got my kiln, uh, the next thing I'm going to need is a pair of bellows. Uh, bellows, of course, needed to, um, to fire up the, um, the, the kiln after you have the charcoal in it. Um, so, what I need for that is I need to kill and skin a rabbit, and then cook that rabbit on an open fire. Uh, so what I need is flint. Uh, in order to get flint, I need to find the flint oops pile here. Uh, let me look around and see where that may be. I probably just missed it because I'm blind. Yes, it's right here, of course. So I'll take my sharp stone, smack a pile of flint, and I get four flint chips. I also need to create a uh, trap, a uh, snare for the rabbits. So I'll take my sharp stone again. And I will take a long straight shaft, cut it down to a short one, cut it down into stakes, combine the stakes with my rope, and I've gotten my snare. Put a snare over a rabbit hole uh, that has a baby bunny with it, and uh, the rabbit will regenerate a little bit quicker. Um, not needed for the tutorial, but definitely for the, the main game, that is an important part. I'm also going to start lining up some of my flat rocks here. Probably only need one, really, for the axe. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll do the whole three. Okay, bunny is being strangled, bunny is dead, and I can go ahead and harvest all these rabbits because they'll be useful for food um, as well as other things. So, we need one rabbit skin that we're going to hit with a flint chip to make uh, four pieces of cut rabbit fur, and we need them just like that, so we're not going to touch them after that. I'm going to go ahead and get my yum boost going here. Uh, we're also going to skewer one of those bunnies and eventually cut it, uh, cut up some stuff here to make a fire. Now we don't want to cut too many, um, but I need some for the kiln and I need some for the actual fire that we're going to use to cook the rabbit. Um, and I also need to make my fire stick. 
So that is made with a small curved shaft and a short shaft, and I'm going to need more rope. So let's go ahead and harvest the milkweed. Two milkweed makes thread, two more makes another thread, two thread together makes rope. Tie the rope to the small curved shaft, tie the short shaft to that, and we've got our fire bow drill. We're gonna need a few more things to make a fire, one of which is a long straight shaft. Let's go ahead and harvest our other bunny here. All right. Again, this is not necessary for the axe, but it does help keep you uh, fed until you're all done. And we'll get that last one as well. All right. Um, what else am I going to need? These U branches are going to be useless, so I should actually be cutting those up for wood, if anything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut an additional one here. I believe I'll need a minimum of two if I do everything perfect. And I'm um, also... Also going to stack up all the iron here so it's easy to find. Okay. Now, I've gotten all my bunnies. And I will just set them aside for now. I'm just going to leave this one exactly like that. Um, now I need uh, two sets of tongs. I need one for the bellows and one for actually moving and manipulating stuff in and out of the fire. Uh, you make tongs by combining a long straight shaft that I've caught up with the sharp stone with the flint, and they make tongs. One of these tongs is going to be used for the actual bellows, the other one's going to be used to move stuff in and out of the fire. Um, okay, I believe the next step I need to do is actually make the fire, uh, so for that I'm going to need to find uh, special types of trees. Uh, and these trees are not over here, they're actually back along the path. So why don't I go ahead and grab my uh, basket uh, to make this trip a little bit quicker. So here's one, we need this oak tree here. Um, I'm kind of having difficulty clicking it. Maple tree, sorry. Um, need a leaf from that. And we need the uh, kindling here from the juniper tree. Okay, we're gonna start our fire right over here. Um, so we're going to put the, what is this actually called? Juniper tinder there, leaf there. All right, so touch the drill, touch the shaft, gives you an ember, grab the leaf, grab the ember, put it on the tinder. Once the tinder starts flaming a bit, you grab a piece of uh, kindling, toss it on, you've got a real fire. Now, we could light the kiln, but that's actually just a huge waste of our time. All we wanna do right now is wait for the fire to go out to turn back into embers, so that we can cook the skewered rabbit on it without burning it. Um, so while we're doing that, uh, I'm gonna eat because I'm starting to get hungry. Gotta keep an eye on that food meter. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up another one of these U branches, or all of them really. I'll just cut two of them up here um, because we're gonna need a little more uh, kindling. Just just a tad. Actually, we probably don't. <laughs> probably, probably just being extra cautious here, but really, while waiting for the fire to burn down, there's nothing better to do. Um, I guess I could I don't know, make some more thread. Uh, oh, I do need thread. Perfect. I do need a thread. Yeah, make a thread. I meant to do that. Yes. Yes, clearly. Um, so, you know, just sit back, uh, stay warm, keep your yourself fed, wait for the fire to go out. I can actually stand on the fire. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, now that the fire is in embers, <clears throat> we take our skewered rabbit and we cook it. And I'm just going to cook all three of them because... Uh, like I said earlier, they are worth food, um, and food is good. Basically, uh, when it comes to one hour, one life, you want to make the most use of things as you can before they go out. So you might want to have like a whole stack of rabbits and such. After I eat a rabbit, it turns into bones. I'm going to light this back up. If you right click on the bone, you pick up the corpse, but it leaves behind a uh, rabbit bone. If you hit that with, I believe, the sharp stone, Nope, if you hit that with the flint, uh, it turns into a needle. Combine the needle with the thread, you've got a needle and thread. Combine the needle and thread with the uh, four pieces of cut rabbit fur, and you've got a water pouch. Now that might seem stupid, except that you need to combine it with wooden tongs. Now this is most of the bellows. We still need a clay nozzle. Uh, in order to get a clay nozzle, take a piece of clay, stick it with a skewer, 
and you got a clay nozzle, but it's unforged. It needs to be heated up in our kiln, and we're basically ready to go. Uh, so let's, uh, just for speed's sake, add that together. If you switch it with an item on the ground, it sticks together. We're going to light the kiln. We're going to forge our nozzle. Uh, we're going to put the nozzle there. We're going to add that to the bellows, and we're going to put the adobe on the kiln. That'll turn it into charcoal in just a minute or two. And then we can add our bellows to it, and we're almost ready. Oh shit, there is one thing I forgot. <laughs> Damn it, I knew I was forgetting something. Something that would never have, I never would have forgotten out in the real world. Um, we do actually have to kiln up some additional things here. Um, we need to make uh, a bowl and a plate, at least one of each. Um, and like I said before, if you're doing something with, you know, fire especially, you want to make as many as you possibly can at once. Um, so we haven't actually wasted uh, too much here. Um, I should have done this while it was still burning making after making the nozzle. We can save our charcoal um, and le keep it for later. And, and again, in the real game, there's plenty of uses for charcoal too. Um, so you won't you won't be missing out uh, on that. Um, I, may, I may lose the fire and have to rebuild it. But what I need to do here is take one of these round stones, make some bowls and some plates. Um, hit it once for a bowl, hit it again for a plate. And let's go ahead and light this before our fire goes out. And we'll forge these up. Now again, we only needed one, but I'm going to make two just because I'm uh, over-preparing here. Okay, and then we can go ahead and close this up. Alright, now I've got what I need. Little mistakes um, that, again, if I was playing in a real uh, village, I probably would have done... A whole slew of bowls and plates because they're needed for you know your civilization to advance um, but because I'm doing the tutorial I fucking forgot <laughs> there's more clay up here I would I'd probably I'd probably do about eight of them and you could probably get about eight done before you have to close it up uh, to get the charcoal all right here we go charcoal is there bellows uh, attach it there now we're gonna want to do the iron and if we take the uh, tongs really uh, left click on the iron we pick one up right away so let's go ahead and swap that uh, before our fire goes out let's just put any old wood on that and we're ready to go we're gonna forge uh, oh I don't know as many as we can get I suppose all right let's grab this okay hot ball there hit it with a rock repeat and I'm actually gonna do the two hot pieces uh, first, there we go, and move that aside, and hit them real quick with the rock before they cool. There we go, we've got three of these, that might be enough, it should be actually. Um, I probably, if I had time, yeah I do need the charcoal, ha, see I knew I did. Yes, that wasn't just a huge mistake. Um, we'll need to do the bellows one more time, because we want to add the iron to the charcoal and put a plate on it, that becomes an unforged sealed crucible. Uh, and then if we do that again, we've got the two that we need, because we need one for our smithing hammer and one for our axe. Okay, uh, had to do a little cut there. Now, let's uh, get a bit more wood, because we want to keep our fire going, and we want to uh, reforge the kiln here. Yeah, we needed at least two to get the steel we need in one single shot. Um, if we're super quick, we can even get the hammer done. I don't know that that's going to be the case, um, but we'll give it a try. We're gonna we're gonna uh, give it a uh, as much of a try as we can. All right, um, we need it to be charcoal filled, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom, <clears throat> and then we need uh, a hammer base ready to go, uh, and we only need we don't need the rope for that. We just need a short shaft. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up one of our crucibles, and let's make sure we've got a rock nearby as well. This actually wasn't a great place to put the kiln because of these stumps nearby. I should have put it over a few, because then you've got all around it to work. Um, but it's okay, everything's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to finish the tutorial uh, in as straightforward a way as possible. All right, charcoal's back. We still have our lit firebrand. We're gonna go ahead and, and just move right into it as fast as possible. So, 
Okay, this is forged, so it's hot. We gotta let it, let it cool before we can use it. But as soon as it becomes unhot, we're gonna open it, grab the steel, and uh, grab it with the tongs, if we can. Uh, and try to get it fired up. Forged, okay, oop, right click to open. Uh, right click to pull out the steel. Oh, come on, tongs, I can't click it. There we go, click the tongs. Forge the steel, perfect. Okay, we hit it with a rock. We've got our hammerhead. Now, basically the almost no way you would have been able to do that fast enough uh, to get the hammerhead to cool. In fact, I think it's impossible based on just the timing of the hammerhead cooling. Uh, but now we got the hammerhead, add it to the short shaft, and we've got our smithing hammer. This is what we need to turn our other piece of steel into an ax. And guess what? We have to do this again. Um, find our ax, <clears throat> cut up some additional kindling, keep our fire hot, and relight the forge. There was some kindling there, but it's okay. Okay, light up the kiln, and immediately block it off. Um, and again, I've said it like three times already, and I apologize for repeating myself, but every time you light the forge, you can make some clay bowls or clay plates while you're waiting, and then uh, seal it before it goes uh, completely cold. Uh, otherwise, you lose your um, uh, your 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 kindling, uh, and you have to redo it. All right, this will be it. We're going to uh, use the tongs on the steel bar. We're gonna swap it there so they're already connected. I'm gonna put the bellows on the charcoal. I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna heat up the steel. Put it on the rock. Grab our hammer, and boom, we've got our axe. Now again, if you had a whole slew of these things, you know, four or five bars of steel, um, you know, more flat rocks, you could make an ax head, a shovel, uh, anything else that you're gonna need. Um, but we only need one to uh, finish the tutorial. We've got our ax head, we've got a long shaft. It's created a steel ax. And then we can go down here, cut it open. And, uh, oh shit, we need the shovel, don't we? Damn it, <laughs> we need a shovel. Shit! Okay, I should have I should have known. I should have known. You need a shovel to clear out the stump. Um, well, we cut down that. We uh, we have what we need. We just need to uh, fire the forge a few more times, and I believe we're still uh, we still have enough kindling to do so. Ah, nuts! All right. Um, well, actually, uh, so here's a cool thing. Now that we've got some firewood, um, when we light this fire with our kindling. It, it, we can make it last a lot longer uh, by putting a piece of firewood on it. So this will go dead in like a minute or two, but uh, this will take much longer. Um, so that's why the axe is probably the first thing you want as a village uh, to uh, to build, because you get the axe, you get the firewood, your fire is going to be uh, a lot longer, and it's easier to get more firewood than it is to get more sticks uh, to turn into kindling. Uh, plus, your, your axe can turn firewood into kindling as well. All right, back to it again. My bad. Um, was not prepared fully. Let's go ahead and light that and then cover it up. We're going to want one more piece of steel, so let's put this in the bowl with the charcoal and plate. Seriously, though, you only need one more this time. I'm positive. <laughs> I will need one more long, straight shaft. So I can, if you're out foraging in the in the woods and uh, you've got a, a sharp rock like this, you can stack two shafts together after cutting them, and you can carry them both at once. That'll speed you up um, if what you're doing is trying to collect these things, which um, a lot of villages will need early on, especially. Okay, bellows. Uh, let's get our uh, sealed, unforged, sealed crucible here. Let's light it, fire it, drop it. And uh, let's actually keep these close by. As soon as that turns cold, we're gonna want it. Try to keep everything you need close. Yep, there we go. The faster the better. Uh-huh. Forge that. Then we need the uh, shovel. Just keep hammering it, read what it says. It'll stay hot long enough. Hot steel shovel head. Okay, you can't reseal it once it's, I got the bellows. That's the end of it, so. I wasn't wasting any time there. Shovel head, and then you can dig up the stump, which you can then turn into kindling with the ax. And you're free, you've made it out. Go north or south, okay? Well, that's it, I just wanted to show you guys how the tutorial works. Um, 
and uh, how you can beat the advanced tutorial. Um, but the question here is, what exactly does it want me to do? I've never actually done this, um, <laughs> because uh, <clears throat> I knew how to play enough that I didn't feel like I needed to. Um, I'm kind of interested. Okay, so here we are, and this is our... It fucking replaced the... Or is this another person's? Hold on. Oh, look at this. These are other people's tutorials. Yeah, I did notice. I, I played a game on the phone um, where uh, a village had sprung up around one of these things. Um, and I don't know if like the Eve was quick enough at escaping that she was still fertile and then it had a baby, or if somebody wandered through the entire world and found it. Uh, I didn't think it was possible. What are you doing down here? Yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, we've escaped our prison. We're wandering around in the open fields now for whatever reason. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do anything like make myself a last name or first name or any of that shit. But all right. Well, uh, this is the first in a series of tutorials for One Hour One Life that I think I'll be uh, producing and editing. Um, to give people who are interested in really learning uh, the more advanced aspects of the game um, some information on how to do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, and uh, let me know if this helped you uh, beat the tutorial or taught you a little bit about the game, um, concepts that you may not have been totally familiar with. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I actually see somebody else doing the tutorial here. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> yes! I've escaped too! I can free you! <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking, see if I can catch up to this lady. Yep, she's trying to do the advanced tutorial. <laughs> you look just like me. Only I've escaped, and you're stuck in there. Let's see if she says anything. Nope, she's not gonna shit.